to the seventh episode in which we are looking at the 2020 GCE Mathematics Paper 1. In the first six episodes, we've looked at question 1 through 15. So question 16 leads, it is given that y varies inversely as the square of x. The table below show, shows some values of x and the corresponding values of y. Find the a, the value of k, the constant of variation, then the value of a, then see the values of b. So, what you can get from here is there is this relationship between y and x, which is inversely as a square of x. Square of x. So now we need to introduce the constant. So there is a constant that is connecting y and the, and the x square. And this becomes y is equal to a constant, then x square. Then the first thing that we notice here is when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 9. So, and when x is equal to b, y is equal to 4. Then when x is equal to 6, y is equal to a. So we are required to find the constant of variation. So let us substitute there. So y is equal to basically 9 is equal to k is what we are looking for over x square. What is x is 2. When So we have 9 is equal to 9 is equal to k over 4, which is the 2 times 2, which is 2 square. So basically, k is equal to, uh, basically, uh, we cross multiply 4 times 9 is 36. So the value of k is 36 here. Then, value of a. So we need to find now the value of a. So now having found the value of k, so what the relationship now becomes, let me use a different color, y is equal to 36, wherever there is k, then over uh, x square. Then on a, we are looking for y given that x is equal to what? 6. So basically y is equal to 36 over, we are replacing x with 3, 6, so 6 square. So 6 times 6 is basically 36. So 36 over 36, which is basically equal to 1. So when x is equal to 6, y is equal to 36. So basically the value of a in this case is 1. Then we go to c the values of b, the values of b. So we are looking for x now, given that y is equal to 4. So we have 4 is equal to, whatever is y, we put a 4, then uh, 36 over b square. So here, whatever there is x, we are putting a b. Then we are solving for b. So this is over 1, so what you do, you cross multiply. So we have 4b square is equal to 1 times 36 is 36. Then we divide by 4, 4, so b square is equal to basically 9. Then find the square root and the square root. So the question is asking us to find the values of b. So there are two numbers that we can multiply themselves, we can multiply by themselves to get a 9. So these numbers are, so b is equal to basically positive or negative 3. So hence, uh, b is equal to negative 3 or positive 3. So basically, this is how you get the 4 marks on question 16. Alright, let us move to question 17. So question 17 leads in the diagram below, A, B, C and D lie on the circumference of the circle, center O. Given that angle B, A, D is equal to 47 degrees and angle D, B, C equals to 28 degrees. Calculate angle B, O, D, then B, O, B, D, then C, B, D, C. Alright. 
So for us to answer this question, let, let me just try to uh, zoom in so that we're able to see clearly uh, as we answer this question. So what we have here, we have uh, a question from the circle theorem. So the thing that we know about the circle, we know that the first thing that we need to know before we start answering is what are angles that we can find. So what we know is the angle at the center is basically twice the angle at the circumference. So if this is 47, to find the angle at the center here, which is D or B, we multiply uh, 47 by 2, which is basically 94 degrees using the angle at the center. So they want to find the angle at the center. You can find the other angle, the one that is, I'm going to use a blue, this angle, this side. So this angle will be basically uh, 360 minus 94. Okay, so 360 minus 94, which is basically 260, 266. So this angle is 266. So if you know this angle, we know that this angle here at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. You've seen this angle because they are sharing the same radius or the same radius, which are the two. So the angle here, which is DBC, will be just half of this angle. So it's 266 divided by 2. So 266 we divide by 2, we get 1. Uh, th 33 so this angle is basically 133 three. all right okay then we know that uh, since this is a radius and this is a radius that they are equal so we can find these angles that are inside okay let me use black so that you should be able to see properly so to find those angles what we know is is basically uh they are equal we shall call them x so x plus x plus 94 is equal to 180. Remember, all the angles in a triangle sum up to 180. So we have 2x is equal to basically 180 minus 94. So 180, we are subtract 94. So at the end of the day, we have uh, 2x is equal to uh, basically 86. Then we divide by 2. So x is equal to basically, we divide by 2 this side and 2 this side is equal to 43 so these angles are basically 43 degrees each 43 degrees each so this is what we found then having found that we can also find this angle you see this angle here because this angle plus this angle here plus this angle here they should add up 180 so from there we know that it's basically uh, 133 plus 28 plus that angle, we shall call it Y, which is angle BDC, must equal to 180. So when you sum this, 133 plus uh, 28, uh, basically we are getting 161. 161. So from here, what we, we get is 161, 161 plus Y is equal to 180. So we have y is equal to 180 minus 161. So basically y is equal to 19 degree degrees. All right, so we've done the best that we can do. Let us look at uh, the questions. Find B or D. So find B or D. B or D. So it's this angle. So that angle is basically 94. We've already found it. Then find O, B, D. Find O, B, D angle. O, B, D. So we've already found this angle to be 43. Remember, we we'll use the, the fact that uh, two sides are equal, which are linear. So to these two angles should be the same. Then find angle B, D, C. B, D, C. So it's this angle, and we found this angle to be 19 degrees. And we use the fact that this angle is half the angle at the center, and we add 28 plus this angle plus it, the, the BDC should give us 180. So basically, this is how you get the four marks on question 17.